Hi, I have a book to share with you today that goes along with what you're learning in science in both my class and Mrs. Azidi's class. Um, Mrs. Martin uh, shared this book with me and it's really, really cool. It's done in poetry. So it's um, lots of little short poems and it's talking about the symbiotic relationships of animals. And I've used that word a lot in our discussions. Um, the symbiotic relationship meaning there are animals that need each other um, to, to, to take care of each other. And um, I don't want to talk about that too much. I want to get into the book and let the book explain that to you because the poems are really, really fun. So it starts out with the first poem, The Disastrous Dinner Party. The birds arrived by threes and fours, promised an eating spree. The plates and cups were all in place. The food was fresh and free. The hostess in her feathered gown was pouring the plankton tea when all at once the dining table sank beneath the sea. So do you see what's happening here? There's this whale who's scooping up all this plankton and the birds are swooping in and getting some of that as well. So they're, they're sharing a meal together. Definitely not social distancing at that restaurant. You will see a lot of symbiotic relationships would not be okay in our current setting if we were if these were humans. Also gross, let's just put it that way because here comes the crocodile dentist. Can you see that? Let me scooch over a little bit. Sorry, a little out of practice with my filming here. Crocodile dentist. Behold the wily crocodile, wily kind of crazy, a little wild, who will, who will scrub his pointy smile, who will hop between those jaws, defying all of nature's laws. Some folks say a plover's beak cleans those choppers cheek to cheek. Others say it isn't so. I wonder if we'll ever know. And you can see the plover in the crocodile's mouth. The crocodile is not biting down. The plover is actually eating things out from between the teeth. It's so gross, but it's like, it's like nature's dental floss cleaning up the, the teeth, the, the dental hygienist there. The sea turtles lament. Now a lament is kind of a complaint or a sorrow here. So let's, let's read a little bit about that. Barnacle. I know you're familiar with barnacles. If you've, uh, I, I'm sure that, well, I can't remember the name of that show. Ah, the Aquanauts or something like that, the barnacles. Anyway, barnacle, oh barnacle, where'd you come from, barnacle? Were you born or were you hatched? How'd we come to be attached? Like, how'd we get on there? We're not alike, as you can see. Why are you so stuck on me? And why my fullest fascination with such a clingy, crude crustacean. So <laughs> the barnacle is attached to the turtle and the turtle's like, what is even going on here? The barnacle takes a ride on the turtle's back. Killer coat. The forest mouse is a stylish bloke, a guy, a bloke. He wears a beetle cap and cloak. Please find out against their will, this sassy rodent's dressed to kill. Once at home, his outerwear scurries all around his lair, dining on the bugs that stress him until it's time again to dress him. Oh, look at all those bugs eating the fleas off the mouse. Can you see that? Oh, I hope you're not watching this during breakfast. I'm so sorry. Science, Pom Pom-pom prize fighter. Oh, we're going into the ocean, my favorite area. Put up your dukes or fins, or flukes. Watch me bob and weave. Go ahead, make my day. I'd hate for you to leave. My precious sea anemones deliver a nasty sting. I have no fear of enemies, so step inside this ring. So this little guy here is being protected by his anemones, and you know that from Dory, that only certain animals can go inside an anemone because they have the right um, coating on their, their body to not be stung. Mongoose. It's one of my least favorite animals. I don't know why, but they actually look cute in these pictures. So let's check out the mongoose. The mongoose spa. Free at the mongoose spa today. A yogurt herbal tea buffet. A mango pear tahini scrub. A fig and aloe body rub. Warthog snorts. Is this for real? Banana facial? 
power peel? He shakes his bristly head and sighs. Please just pick the ticks off, guys. So the mongoose picks the ticks off the warthog. The emperor's clothes. Uh-oh, if you know that story, the emperor actually didn't really have any clothes on, so I'm curious where this is going. All hail the royal emperor shrimp. His style is known from coast to coast. His purple gloves and orange robe change color just to match his host. This trick is meant to hide him well from carnivores who aren't so nice, including predators like me who cook him in a pot of rice. Not me, I don't like seafood. False scorpion. Look how tiny that little guy is there. See that? Zoomed in over here. Who's that freaky little guy clinging to the bottle fly? See, little, little guy here. I know his name, but I forgot. It only tells us what he's not. We hardly know that he's among us. We'd never notice if he stung us. We rarely see him riding by, clinging to that bottle fly. The false scorpion. He looks like a scorpion, but he's really not. Little Mac attack. Reminds me of those jellyfish on the one field trip to the aquarium. Looking for lunch, my fine finned foe? Perhaps a mackerel snack to go. It's true that you're a larger fish, but you will never get your wish. You think that you're the big kahuna, but you are just a blue fin tuna. You'll have to hunt me where I dwell, here at the Man of War Hotel. So this little guy is hiding in the Man of War. And this predator is trying to get in there. But if the predator tried to get in there, sting and end. This is the one that always shows up on like nature videos and things that animal planet stuff. Tick birds, free lunch. Said a rhino to a tick bird sitting in a tree. The bugs are really biting, so lunch is on me. The tick bird hopped on the rhino's back, ate lunch and dinner, and a bedtime snack. So they get a little ride on his back and he gets the ticks eaten off and they are not eating him anymore. A little bit of a friendship there, a symbiotic relationship. That's Ramora. When Ramora is bored and feeling ignored, she needs to get away. She loves to embark on the eight o'clock shark headed for Coco Cay. So the Ramora attaches to the shark to take a ride. Um, and the remora is also cleaning off, you know, stuff that algae and whatever they, uh, is on the, the shark. We have just a couple more left here. Full service fish. Save yourself some aggravation. Come on by the cleaning station to get a special weekly pass. See our owner, Mr. Rass. Barracuda, eel, or ray, we will send you on your way shiny, sparkly, squeaky clean, ready for the silver screen. So you see a lot of this is animals getting their food by cleaning off the animal that they're, um, that they're host animal. Casa Iguana. Little Sally Lightfoot stands on her tiptoes, reaches for a treat with her dainty claws. Soaking up the sunshine at Casa La Iguana, she dines on tick sticks and algae slaw kind of see that theme that these animals are cleaning up the algae, they're cleaning up the ticks, they're cleaning up the things that could really hurt and eventually kill um, the, the animal that they are um, attached to. And so the, the, um, the animals that come along and clean them up or eat from the, the ticks and algae are helping them. So it's a symbiotic relationship. Oh, and that was the actual last one. Last one, okay. so. Kind of quick, kind of short. Um, next week's read alouds, I'm really having a hard time getting through. They're emotional. I'm gonna do my best. Uh, but I sure do miss you very, very much. And um, I hope you enjoy the next read alouds that are coming. I hope you watch them. So I love reading your letters and working on your comments now. Uh, next week you have a little bit of a fun project. Uh, you'll be done with letters and, and done with, uh, I think even word study and just work on this fun project that we're gonna wrap up the year with. So I miss you and I hope you have a great day 
and uh, I hope that this helps you a little bit with your understanding of your science concepts too. Have a great day.